So you go like, click, subscribe, do all that. You already know what time it is. It's a celebration out here. Terps Nation, you already know what time it is. 35 to 13, giving Penn State the business. We are Terps, bitch. Once again, there you go. So that's why I said it again. So bottom line, look at the greatness right here. Sean Clifford. So back to what I was saying. Tua talk about law. You know what I'm saying? 17 to 25, 273 yards, three TDs. He was doing great things today. What is all this? Another pick. Get his clown ass out of here. Sean Clifford. What's his name? Sean Clifford. He's throwing for 22 of 51, 282 yards, two TDs, and two picks. His name is Sean Clifford for a reason. His last name is Clifford. Does it me the big red dog? Well, guess what? We had seven sacks on that big red dog. And if he's a big red dog, then guess what? We're the dog trainers and putting Colonel Kennels on his ass. Matter of fact, send him to the damn kennel. Matter of fact, by the time this game is over, we're going to take a bow round the back by the barn. You know what they do with horses? Yeah, done deal. Finish his clown ass off for good. That's right. And they own goddamn stadium. I want everybody there to yell. Every time they say, we are. The other side says, Terps, bitch. Not no damn Penn State. Hey, you about to be 0-3. We're going to be 2-1. and one. The only team we lost to was Northwestern, but we ain't thinking about that. Bottom line is, yeah, Penn State, you win against Ohio State, but you lost to Indiana, and now you will lose to us. Terps Nation, certified out this bitch. Bottom line, you already know what time it is. If, even if they do score, I want Clifford, Sean Clifford to know. Every time he thinks about them goddamn seven sacks we gave him, everybody chanting in unison, we are Terps, bitch. I mean, that was a good time to say it because he ended up scoring a touchdown. But Bob line is, you know the deal. Yeah, he scored big deal. Bob Lott is, we going to take this dub. Y'all just have a garbage points. Bob Lott, it'll be 19-35, to 20-35, whatever the heck y'all want to go for. Like I said, every time Sean Clifford thinks of us, he's going to think about those seven sacks. But basically just chant to that man, we are Terps, bitch. Minnesota beating the fire out of Illinois, laying a smackdown 41 to 14. And then you got Fresno State laying a smackdown UNLV 37 to 27. And they about to score again. And Oklahoma laying a smackdown on Kansas. No surprise there. Once again, Kansas, not a football team, a basketball team. About to go 0 and 7. Wasted time. Oklahoma going to be 5 and 2. Lay a smackdown at KDS. They don't even look at the game no more. They want to look at. Reprevalia and coaches. And TCU giving the business to Texas Tech, laying a smackdown. They will go three and three. Texas Tech will fall to two and five. Abuse being displayed. And we all knew what was going to happen here, but Bob Linus, Cincinnati laid a smackdown on Houston, 38 to 10. They are the real deal. They belong in the top 10 and pretty much give it business because probably the championship that mess around to see SMU again. But uh, they'll be ready for him once again. And then you got bum ass Mississippi State right now against trash ass Vanderbilt, 24 to 14. It was like, who's going to be trash less? And bottom line is, those Mississippi State Bulldogs were less trash. Why? Because they actually beat a team like LSU, even though LSU ain't playing up to their performance and defense like they're supposed to. But bottom line is, they do have an LSU win. Vanderbilt has no wins, as usual. Running around here, wasting time. 24 to 14, and all they're going to do is run some more clock out and finish it up, and they're going to face master boot. So there you go. Wasting people's time with this stuff. And they ain't got no more time I was left anyway. Vanderbilt, you don't play football like that. Get the candy ass out of here. And then you got Oklahoma State going against Kansas State. Oklahoma State had nothing leading into the third quarter, and all of a sudden they jumped up and scored 20 points, scored like they're supposed to be scoring. So there you go. It was a defensive battle all the way through, but bottom line is six minutes and 20 seconds left in this one. K-State down by eight. We're going to see if they can make it and try to tie this game up. And, of course, you got Florida and Georgia. They have put my Georgia Bulldogs. I'm like, oh. But I knew, bottom line was, you got to have some defense to fend off Georgia, Florida. Otherwise, those Gators are going to chomp when it comes to their wide receivers because that's what they do. But 41-28, to 28, and it's 4th and 10. They got to get something going quickly. 
All right, K-State, we see you. We see you. All right, that was on third and 16. All right, bet. Yeah, they're going to call that all the time. That's flag all day. You already know it. That's easy. That's easy. Touchdown, K-State. You know they're going for two. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, the ball came out of his hands. Ha! Ah. Wow. They snuffed it out. Oklahoma State still up by two. Then look at this. Pitt laying a smack out of Florida State, 34 to 17. I thought Pitt had a better record than that, but honestly, like, okay. I mean, if they do, they'll even it out four and four. But bottom line is, Florida State's been playing like absolute garbage this season. They will go two and five. And I, I, I promise you this, Florida State, you better start playing for real, or else we're going to have to take your Seminoles, Tom Hawkins. And they're going to take the Indians away from you like Washington did to the goddamn Redskins. They did not get the onside, but they still got three timeouts. Let's see if they can stop Oklahoma State. Obviously, they'll take the timeout right there. Oh, my God. He just got picked off. Are you serious? What? Show the replay. Oklahoma State's going to go 5-1. and one. Here it is. Let's show the pick. He's locked in, locked it up. Yep, he was over the top. And he had two back there over there. So like, well, he he must have saw them over there. Like, look at that. Safety sitting there right at the over the back. Yeah, you know what it was. Come on, dog. Tough battle. Oklahoma State survives. They go five and one. Or oh, they made a comeback to come up. Kansas State will fall to four and three. And there you go, Florida, Georgia, yeah. They are playing without George Pickens tonight. And maybe a couple of other people, I'm not really sure. But bottom line is, without George Pickens going against this Florida team, it wasn't going to happen. And this is the result of it right here. So Florida is going to go 4-1 and one to Georgia. Georgia will fall to 4-2. They're knocking off the number five team in the National Association for Bob Mine. That's what's going down here. So we already know Pittsburgh laid a smack out of Florida State, but there was a targeted call that they tried to show, and I don't even know what happened. Okay, so the targeting was, oh, bam, right there, okay. All right, let's see it. But bottom line is they dug down these streets once again, hit 41 to 17 on Florida State. 